Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I would like to welcome you guys to the finale of my NBA 2K13 association with the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, the first thing that I want to let you guys know is that I am going to be simming through the playoffs, even my games. I know a lot of people are probably like, iPod, I wanted to see you go up against LeBron James. I wanted to know if you were going to win. I wanted to see you win a championship. Well, let me keep it all the way real with you. I tried to keep this association as realistic as I could. Now, from what I played, I had to win like 10 to 15 games almost straight in order to, you know, get like the fourth or fifth seed in the playoffs. So trust me, playing those games and dragging those games out, playing up to like 140 to 160 points are crazy. I wouldn't want anybody to do it. Hopefully in NBA 2K14, the uh, the way the players play, the statistics, everything would will be a little bit better. That Hall of Fame, oh man, it, it was kind of crazy. Them scores are looking outrageous. People shooting over 50%, it was unreal. But let me show you guys a few things real quick. I want to show you guys the simulation of my games, and I want to show you the rest of the simulation of the playoffs. Now, I'm not going to you know, tell you guys anything. What I'm going to do is talk about what I have in store for NBA 2K14. Now... As it goes, NBA 2K14 is a current gen and next gen title. So, as it goes for NBA 2K14 Association, I want to ask you guys, and you're going to have to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if I should start current gen or if I should wait a month and a half later and start my association on next gen. Now, the reason why I ask this is because if I start on current gen, when next gen comes out, you can't take your, your file with you. And a few rosters may be changed by November. You know, you don't know who might be injured or might have gotten traded or, you know, may have retired for whatever reason. You know, I'm, <laughs> but I want to know if I should start current because if I do that, I'll be able to give you guys at least like two to three months of, you know, an association gameplay wise as well. And I'll be able to have a nice little storyline around what the Sixers were doing during the summer opposed to, you know, what they're doing in November. So, you know, if you want me to start current gen, let me know in the comment section. Now, for all those people that want me to start on next gen, let me know how you want to do that. If you guys want me to keep up, well, not keep up, but uh, catch up to the way that things are going in a real life season and also i want to know if you guys want me to do like a weekly recap of how my first week or whatever went opposed to in real life 76's week went so say uh november 20th to the 27th whatever that week has done maybe i've won four games and maybe the Sixers have only won one game do you guys want me to do a comparison on how i would have done things because i'm going to be watching every game so you know just a few thoughts but as you guys can see from uh the screen the heat have won the championship once again they got past us they got past everybody um a few um known players have retired including coaches and i just wanted to show you guys my player progression before i get up out of here so i did have a great season with the sixers um, I think I played very realistic and I think that I did a very good job So if you want to see more NBA 2k 14 association from me, just leave this video a like let me know in the comment section But this is IKC signing out. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video for more videos from this particular mode click more videos if you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page This is Siri signing out Peace.